Hi Bruce from Safari and the video we're doing today is for caravans that do not have a 12 volt battery. So what we're going to demonstrate here is two unique features that uh, really suit the uh, caravan owner, uh, which is going to be the remote on off of the battery and secondly running the 12 volt loads out of it with uh, no 12 volt battery present at all. So we've got two media batteries here that are 48 volt. We've got the Scotty AI meter in the front. It's 1500 watts of charge from the alternator when you plug the vehicle in. And it'll discharge up to 1500 watts, which is enough to run dual compressors for the air suspension in a caravan. So with this setup, you can really load up the 12 volt side with a high amount of power. Now the first feature to show you is the remote switch. Here it is here. So just imagine this is inside the caravan and uh, up high or it can be just inside the door if you wish and when I go and uh, press this I only need to press it for one second then the lights will come on in the caravan the first battery the second battery and the switch will light up and that tells you you've got full power inverters on just turned on and now I'm going to turn the induction cooktop on the induction cooktop is now running away and now I'm going to put on the 12 volt load. Now, this wire here is going to the steady 48 watt light here. So let's put the power on. And there we are. So we've got the steady light running and you'll notice the reason why I've got it on, it's 48 watt. As you can see there's no flickering, no dimming, uh, it's just absolutely full power. And so this demonstrates you can run 12 volt out of this 48 volt battery up to 1500 watts at the same time as running 48 volt. <clears throat> when it comes to turning the batteries off, the problem we've had with the 48 volt batteries in the past is if you turn them off and they were under load, you'd blow the BMS. That's a common thing. And in this battery, what we've done in the software is if I try to turn this off while it's under load, the battery will not turn off. It just won't. You can't damage the BMS. Huge improvement over the uh, Dynes uh, batteries that we had uh, previously. So now I'm going to turn off the load. So now I've turned off the inverter, taken off the light, no loads on it, hold that down for three seconds and batteries are turning off and this light will dim and eventually go out once the capacitors drop. I've got to say, how good's that?